I'm Ivy Main, the Renewable Energy Chair for the Virginia Chapter of the Sierra Club. Americans want clean, renewable energy. For those of us on the East Coast, offshore wind offers the biggest resource at the lowest cost to consumers and with the least environmental impact. Better yet, it's a technology that's ready now. Take a look at this government wind map. The darker colors show the best wind resources. The wind is pretty good in the plain states where you see all that pink, and there's some on our mountaintops, but it's best where you see the red and blue areas, along our coastlines and in the Great Lakes. And hey, that's where most of the population is, and almost 80% of electric demand. So while some people are talking about thousands of miles of new transmission lines to carry power from the plains to the east, we could get it right from wind farms off our coasts. We can put them 12 miles out or more because the outer continental shelf is shallow along most of the east coast. So the towers can be anchored right to the ocean floor. And that far out, they're pretty much out of sight. They're away from other coastal uses and they're beyond the migratory routes of shorebirds. Developers will still need to conduct environmental impact studies. But from what we know so far, the impacts are likely to be less than for land-based wind turbines. How much power are we talking about? The government estimates we have more than enough offshore wind to meet all of our energy needs. Maybe this sounds futuristic, but in fact, 10 countries in Europe and Asia already have offshore wind farms, and some have more than a decade of experience with them. Four states, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Delaware, are all vying to be first in the U.S. Getting clean energy is just part of the attraction. Part of it is price, too, because offshore wind can deliver power for the same price being charged for dirty power from fossil fuels. You're also getting price stability. Coal prices can go up or down, but the fuel for a wind turbine is free. Okay, but what happens when the wind doesn't blow? Don't we need energy all the time? Sure. But a government report concluded the transmission grid can already handle up to 20% wind power without a problem. There are ways of dealing with variability, from storage technology to offshore transmission lines to other forms of renewable energy that balance out wind power. There are more great reasons to build offshore wind farms. Offshore wind turbines emit no air pollution. They pose no risk of mercury poisoning and they do not cause asthma or other lung ailments. They require no mountaintop removal coal mining, produce no radioactive waste, and don't spill toxic sludge onto our beaches or into our waterways. The Sierra Club recognizes that climate change is the biggest threat to humans and nature we've ever faced. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions is an enormous challenge. Renewable energy is one part of the solution. Offshore wind turbines can replace fossil fuels right now. So let's get started. To learn how you can get involved, contact your local Sierra Club chapter or go to one of these websites.